right, let's go down, Busters! First we lower our seat, then we prep for zone 2, and then we'll prep the weapons right now. There we go! Nothing behind us yet, if we are too slow going through this, there are people that will be coming up our tailpipes. We do not want that. So, rather, we need to stay low and be careful. We have a couple of tight turns here. We don't necessarily need to stay at the water top level, but we do need to keep below the mountain. If we don't, we get severely punished. And I don't mean the write a paper kind of punishment. Also, making sure we have enough energy for the turns is vital. Vigan is not really the kind of machine that's supposed to turn this way. So you have to plan your approach carefully. Sun's coming up as well. This is not going to... Yeah, a little more frost there. We have a rough estimate of where we're heading thanks to the navigation. Uh, but um, our main navigational feature is going to be the river, so that's why we make sure to stay close by it. Contact rear. like a fish bed radar to me. We'll see if we can't make them lose their scent. Don't carry any countermeasures at all. The only thing we have is uh, the rocket pods that will be deployed upon the target. Uh, we also have Sniff right ahead. Try to stay in zone 1 as much as possible. Keep that speed up. get hit? I'm not sure. We're still, Snesso still say we're at zone 1. We have the target straight ahead. I don't know what, I think we're losing thrust here. We got the target straight ahead. Let's punch it. Rockets away. Pulling up. Definitely, definitely hit us that time, but I think we're able to continue. Damn Buster's challenge has been completed. Damn, that's a nice lake. Really nice lake. Yeah, so it appears we've been roughed up. Afterburners doesn't seem to be responding. Uh, I don't know if that means we... There's a road over there. I'm gonna see about making an emergency landing on it. <sighs> That's the beauty of the Vigan right there. Uh, you can do things like this. 
But yeah, I do not think we have much engine thrust at all. We absolutely took a hit there. I think we got enough thrust for actually not having to do an emergency landing, so gears up. That doesn't look to be the best surface for one even play. So we got reduced thrust, but we should be good. I think we can make it to Nellis. Damn, this is a nice morning. That said, I think I would really like to just dump the outer cargo at this point. There's also a nice road stretch ahead that might actually work for a possible emergency landing. It would actually work very well, but I can't. I'm not sure I have the engine power to turn around. But at least we have the electronics power, so we should be fine on that. But yeah, the, if I had known that road was going to be there, it would have been my first choice for emergency landing. I can tell you that right now. Uh, we'll keep our eyes open for more possibilities for emergency landing, but uh, we should have Nellis on our left-hand side here. And Nellis approach, this is Vigan uh, 3-7, we are inbound. Uh, low reduced engine thrust, quest immediate, pa immediate uh, approach runway. I will just have to find the Nellis as well, that is um, going to be interesting. I can't see the raceway or any other. And it might be that Nellis is actually behind those mountains and I'm using approach here, but uh, if that's the case we should not need to worry. Because at this point in time we seems to have enough thrust to actually stay in the air and that is I need at the moment. It's going to be a bit interesting with the reverser, but uh, we're fine with that. It's a nice morning over Las Vegas. And yes, this seems indeed to be the wrong approach. This is not the Nellis approach, as far as I can. Uh, that might. If so, we might have Nellis on our right hand side. If we are not heading for any of the other airstrips in the Las Vegas region there are a couple of couple to pick from. In fact, I think we got McCarran straight ahead. Sure looks like it. Any airfield uh, Las Vegas, this is the Vigan 37 experiencing reduced thrust after training exercise. We are in desperate need of an airfield. We will land on any airfield we deem can make it. I think we got Nellis right above, right about there. But, uh, I can. McCarran International, this is the Vigan 37. We are taking to active runway. Prep reverser, prep everything for the landing. McCarran, this is Vigan 37. We are inbound. At least I hope that's McCarran, or I've hailed the wrong tower, but it looks like it. Uh. 
we need to adjust our course a little bit more to the left. Landings have never really been my strong suit. And with reduced thrust, I think that uh, the best idea here is to come in at a decent... Make sure we have the momentum and then let the reverser do the rest of it. Probably a bit too fast, but yeah, this looks like McCarran to me. That was mo definitely too fast. We want to ease the nose wheel down, get the reverser going. In this field, rudder movements. Stepping on the brakes. And then use the momentum to take us off the runway. Las Vegas McCarran, this is Vegan Freeze 7. We have currently landed and are heading for the terminal. Please prepare a Las Vegas welcome for us. Well, it looks like we actually did that fairly well. I wouldn't say it was uh, one of my best landings, but it was obviously a decent enough landing. I can't see any landing damage on any of the uh, landing gear so far, so uh, I'll just have to be a bit more careful here when uh, taxiing the aircraft to the terminal. Looks like the American air people on board that airplane is going to have something but this terminal looks right as rain. So and we have landed. Dam Buster's challenge is completed and we have landed upon the Karen. That is what I call a good morning.